Hi, Psychic America. This is Psychic Tracy Brown coming to you today, October 7th? 8th. October 8th. It's a Tuesday, YouTube Tuesday. Um, did not do a video last week because my antennas were down, um, but they're back up. <laughs> my antennas are up. So with that being said, um, I'm back. <laughs> Um, today, I'm going to do a video, which is a little bit of a surprise for me, on Leanne Rhymes. And it's a little bit of a surprise for me because I was actually going to stay away from her for a while. Because I would just rather see her VH1 show um, come out, and I would just rather watch it bomb, um, rather than like do video after video after video on uh, Leanne Rhymes. However... Interesting enough, there's a psychic on Twitter, City Life Psychic or whatever, that predicted what Leanne's life would be like in 2015. Wow. We're in 2013, and he predicted that in 2015, um, I don't know what he predicted. But in any case, he didn't quite predict it like I do on these YouTube videos. He kind of stated it on Twitter. And that got me to thinking, 2015, the end rhymes, what will your life look like in 2015? So I started to write it on Twitter, but because Twitter only gives you 120 characters or less, I don't even think it's that much, um, I was like, hmm, maybe I should just do a video. <laughs> two hours, I mean, uh, two years, <laughs> two hours, <laughs> two years in advance on the end rhymes, the end rhymes. <laughs> You're up for psychic review again. <laughs> oh, and by the way, um, all the other <laughs> um, videos that I did on Leanne Rhymes uh, came out like, like work it girl on point. <laughs> um, and not to make this a psychic battle, city life. Uh, I think you're. I think it's at city life psychic. I'm not trying to make this a psychic battle. Um, I think that you like Leanne Rhymes, and so what your prediction is really about just liking somebody. Here's the thing with me, I don't really care if I like you or not. It's not my game. I could love you, but if you're doing some fucked up things, I, oh, am I lost person? <laughs> Sorry. If you're doing some crazy things and, um, and the cards show it, doesn't matter if I like you or not. I'm going to have to call it out. And hopefully I can call it out for the better, not because I need to suck up to you. Sorry, I don't suck up to people. Um, but I don't make someone's life a living hell like while I'm doing a reading. I try to get them healthy even if they're in a bad place. That's what I try to do. So, <laughs> Leanne Rhymes. What's your life going to look like in 2015? Are you going to sell a lot of records? Will Eddie have a remarried ceremony with you? Will Brandy's boys actually like you? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh-oh, this is becoming into a something else. But, <laughs> that's you know, that's not really me. You kind of portray that, you know. That stuff. Oh, and by the way, could you please stop dressing like Brandy? Please. Just be yourself. I don't even know you. Do you even know who you are anymore? Just stop dressing like Brandy. If Brandy wears shorts and t shirt and sits on the floor at the soccer games, yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> you do the same thing. Stop. Stop. Wear something red. Wear something different. Do something different. You know what? Don't go to the games. Try that. Stay out. Stay out the game. Let Eddie go. Like, oh, I can't, you can't let Eddie go because you're afraid he'll go back to uh, uh, Brandy. I must be in a really bad mood today because I usually don't get my reading with this much banter. Like, evil banter. It sounds evil, but oh well. Brandy, let me focus. What are you going to look like in 2015? What do you, what's Brandy? No. Ah, Leanne. <laughs> Leanne Rhymes, what is your life going to look like in 2015? Leanne, what's your life going to look like in 2015? 
I'm actually pulling from two different sets of cards. Three. Three different sets of cards. Why do I do these readings? I'm probably the ditziest psychic you will ever meet. Oh, by the way, <laughs> talking about that, um, don't forget that you can re reach me at the Green Man store. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me pull one more card. Greenmanstore.com in North Hollywood, California. Um, and let me again thank all the, the public that um, um, is giving some really nice Yelp reviews, by the way, and also calling for their own personal readings um, and calling back again. I'm so grateful that you guys are trusting me so much and that I mean that from all my heart. Thank you so much. So, call for your own personal readings, 818-985-2010, 818-I gotta turn it into a song, 985-2010, thegreenmanstore.com. Okay, Brandy, I already saw one of the cards. Well, I have to tell you, recognition and reward, uh, all right. <laughs> I didn't say neutral. It's really hard with her. Okay. Let me read one part of the deck. One part of the deck says that there's going to definitely be some healing involved. So I see another rehab with you. Another rehab. There's some healing that needs to be involved. I see you getting sick. Getting sick. Um... And I see you in a dark place, getting sick and in a dark place. I don't know if it's going to happen in 2015. I think it will definitely happen before 2015, to be honest with you. Um, this next stunt of healing is where you finally get enlightenment, where you finally get it, where you finally understand um, who you are, what you've done, where you've been. And by the way, at Twitter, everybody, um, we kind of want that from, for her. We want... Leanne to grow. We want to see her become a better person. At least I do. So with that being said, there's a crisis that pulls her so dark and so under that when she finally comes out of it, you actually could be a much likable person. There's a reward coming out for you, actually, Brandy. Um, and I feel like the reward has everything to do with your personal growth. I don't, it's not the Emmys. It's not the Academy Awards, or is that the same thing, or whatever MTV Music Awards. It's not going to be anything like that. But it is very, very powerful in terms of your personal growth. So, um, to be honest with you, I kind of believe that Eddie keeps you where you need to be. I think he pacifies your ugly. Um, and once you finally see that and get it, um, it's going to be an amazing journey back again. Uh, she's not in this alone. She's actually going to wind up in a very powerful position where she's going to be ready to kick ass. Not in a way that you're doing it, Leanne, because you think you should be fighting people via paparazzi and Twitter. It's not about that. It is about personal power, which is going to bring you back the people that truly, truly, like, always saw that in you. Not me, of course, but you can win me over by your, you know, like I feel like it's a spiritual change, an, an enlightened change, and, but it's knowledge. It's like I finally got it. Like what the hell was I thinking? And I think we all come to that like come to Jesus moment, and I think you're going to have your come to Jesus moment. Um, but when I look at the tarot cards, um, the crisis that you're about to go through is hell. It's sheer hell. So, talk about 2015 City at City Life Psychic. You're so wrong. She's not going to sell 2 million something, something or other record sales in one month. It's just not going to happen. Um, I would even advise you, Brandy, not to put out another album um, until after this crisis, which um, will hit fairly soon. It, it should hit in about eight months. It should hit in about eight months and well into then 2015. Um, um, you're holding a bag, Leanne. You're holding a bag. You're holding the bag. Like, all the world, all the blame goes on, Leanne. And to be honest with you, while you're holding a bag, your husband um, 
some people on Twitter call him idiot or idiot or something like that. It's really funny. Um, runs off. He runs off and he leaves you holding a bag and kind of just puts word out there that he tried everything. You know, I did everything I could. I just can't do this anymore. And so off he goes. <laughs> there is a woman that's going to stand by you, Leanne. Um, I do believe it's going to be your mom that stands by you. Um, there's definitely new love coming to you, Leanne. New love. He could be a little bit younger than you, um, which could make sense because there's an immaturity about you. There's something that didn't grow after a certain age. Probably at the time that your father ran off with the other woman, I think you stopped growing at that point. Um, but the good part is there's, there's, there's change for you. I'm going to be so proud of you. Um, they're telling me 20 months, 20 months. And I think 20 months, I don't know if it's going to be 20 months that we get to see the change or if it's 20 months that you finally get it. I think it's 20 months that you finally get it. Um, and you're going to begin to publicly romance the new you. And you're fearful that people aren't going to accept you. Um, and be really, really careful about that, Leanne, because I have to, I have to tell you, I think people want to see you change. I definitely see a crisis coming. I see a divorce coming. Um, I see your life collapsing between now and 2015. So at City Life Psychic, so wrong. I don't know where you get your reading from, but I, I just get that you adore Leanne, and, and that's where you're getting it from. But you're just not accurate. And I don't mean to invite a, a psychic battle, but you're just wrong. Um, however, Leanne, there's, there's things that's going to happen for you that's going to be amazing. Um, once you see, like, how your husband throws you under the bus and won't protect you, um, there's definitely a divorce coming, and your mother, I believe it's going to be your mother, but if not your mother, it's a very, very um, significant, powerful female figure that comes across as your mother um, that's going to stand by you and get you through this. In the meantime, you're definitely going to meet somebody. I feel like he's going to be younger, and he's probably going to be in rehab. <laughs> Um, but, you know, a lot of great guys, you know, in, uh, going through what you're going through. Um, there's going to be a remarriage. Um, apparently, you like to get married. You're going to get married again. Um, and your life changes for the better once that happens. Um, major healing, major change, never wanting to go back again. I do believe that you're going to be able to find a way to grow out of any alcohol addiction and minimize your prescription drug addiction. Um, and that would be my prayer for you. You're scared because you see the change and you kind of resist it, but go for it because there's another marriage coming for you, there's victory coming for you, and I swear for God, your life gets to turn around for the better. Got to go through this rough ride, though. So, <laughs> so you two too say, and I didn't expect to do this one on Leanne Rhymes and what her life is going to look like in the next... Um, you know, 18 to 20 months, so it is what it is, Leanne. Take the advice and see where it takes you. All right, December, wait, no, October 8, 2013. This is Psychic Tracy Brown doing these videos out of the Green Man store. Call me for your own personal readings. Follow me um, on Facebook. Feel free to join me on Facebook, Psychic Tracy Brown. Uh, and, and more importantly, follow me on Twitter at popculturepsychic.com and subscribe to me on my YouTube channels. All right, guys. And let me know what videos, psych oh, let me know what you want me to um, check into for celebrity hot topics. But more importantly, it's got to be a hot topic. So just don't ask me about Drake if Drake isn't doing anything that warrants a hot topic. <laughs> Read. All right, guys, take it easy. Thanks for tuning in. Take it easy. Bye.